how how did I end up in this toxic place? Oh wait a minute, I forgot. I play Hearthstone, and Hearthstone is the most toxic card game in the entire world, right? Like with everyone complaining about how toxic the game is. I mean, it's not even a pun at this point, even though the deck does have toxic barrel of sludges. But I will say this: one thing that is not toxic is the amount of support that we have been getting recently. Like, oh my dear lord! Most likely, when this video comes out, we are going to be at 18k. So I'm going to be saying thank you for helping us reach 18k. We're going to be giving away some sort of bundle whenever the next bundle comes out. Most most likely a mini set's going to be coming out very soon because the Heroic Tavern Brawl is ending in two days after recording this intro. Kind of gives you some idea of how much, you know, content we are planning and how much we are taking this seriously. So if you want to support us, go ahead and hit that sub button because by this time we're going to hit 18k. Maybe I do another giveaway if we hit 19k. Not going to officially, you know, put that out there until we hit the 18k, but it might be a possibility. But regardless, let's go ahead and talk about Sludge Warlock today because I know this might be a really simple deck idea for a lot of people, right? Right now but as of right now hearthstone deck archetypes are much better if they're simpler right now now what exactly do i mean by this do i mean that noob stone is back or do i just mean that easier decks are just more powerful right now and one reason that i like to use the hearthstone twitter is because a lot of people like to put their takes on what exactly are the good decks right now and this is a post from norwis who is usually always like top 50 top 25 sometimes top 10 if he's really really trying hard doesn't have to worry about those those university papers if it wasn't for university norwis would be the best hearthstone player at all time because he would only focus on hearthstone but it's a good thing he's focusing on university but regardless aggro paladin zoo hunter sludge warlock the list that we are suggesting in the actually this is a little bit different it's got a posic and i'll explain why we cut posic here in a second uh but posic with uh, sludge warlock highlander warrior the best decks and top legend according to norwis are zarimi Priest, Highlander Warrior, Cringe, as well as Drilling Rogue, while the highest skill-based decks right now are the APM Rogue and Nature Shaman. And we got plenty of content coming out with APM Rogue coming up pretty soon. But this is what the metagame is looking like right now. It looks like you have a couple of options right now to where you can play the quote-unquote noob meta, which doesn't necessarily mean that the decks are bad necessarily. It just means that they're very easy to pilot to where even a noob could play them properly. So Agra Paladin and Zoo Hunter are probably going to be the two easiest decks that you can play play right now i would argue that aggro paladin is actually a little bit more complicated than people want to give it credit while sludge warlock is actually probably a bit easier than aggro paladin in my opinion because the only things you really have to think about are when to throw out your sludges and when to do the fatigue procs and we'll go over that deck here in a second just in case you've never gone over a sludge warlock but i just wanted to show this right here because it kind of paints the picture that i'm trying uh, to show when it comes to the hearthstone meta the easiest decks to pilot are going to be some of the better ones because they're just they're simple Simple, they're effective they're fast and if you play them properly you'll most likely win by turn six but the true skill of these decks come in to where you don't just win automatically by turn six you have to buy your time you have to play your resources properly over the entire stage of the game and you can't just tempo king everything without respecting your opponent otherwise you will get destroyed by the highlander warriors you have to keep in mind about when they want to play their brand and you want to try and pressure as many stuff onto the board in order to force them to bait out an aoe or or to force them to play the brand and then they take a bunch of damage because that's their that's the reason why brand is six mana right so you can hopefully take advantage of it one way or another but regardless let's go ahead and talk about the actual list of sludge warlock right now because the list that i have coming up in the video might or might not have a cult neophyte it's been a minute since i've done this but i want to explain the reasons why this version of the deck might be the best so originally the list that i was playing was looking a little bit more like this with double cult neophyte but unfortunately cult neophyte's not really good unless you're going up against a rogue or unless you're trying to stop like a warrior from playing like a garrosh gift into like brawl or something and usually this is not good enough to justify cult neophyte because it doesn't help you against paladin and it doesn't help you against hunter for example so because of those matchups we are taking out the cult neophyte we are putting in the one defile which is the perfect spot you should ask micaiah what he thinks about defile by the way it'd be a really funny conversation and a huge shout out to micaiah who came out with this list i already showed the tweet in, in order to show 
showed that this deck was very good. But the main reason why I am showcasing this list is because this was the deck that I used in order to maintain my 11 star bonus at the very end of last season to where I was sitting around like 10k. I was well, actually I was sitting around 8k and then I climbed all the way to top 2k with this particular deck with like a 60% win rate. And to be honest, this isn't really an amazing feat, but I just wanted to showcase the stats in case some people are like, hmm, Sludge Warlock, why isn't a lot of people talking about it right now? Well, as it turns out, it's, it's a good deck, but I feel like the only reason people aren't talking about it is because it's fundamentally remained unchanged since the previous expansion. And we knew that this was going to be a thing because no cards from Sludge Warlock rotated out. So it's just really interesting how we go with Demonic Studies now in the deck in order to give ourselves more Flame Imps, more Baritone Imps, just more things to do proactively. And another reason why Demonic Studies is very good in this deck is because the perfect curve with this deck could be Demonic Studies on one into Disposal Assistant on two into, into the, uh, the turn three Waste Remover in order to lock out any board-based matchup. And I think that that is just absolutely powerful no matter how you explain it because being able to build yourself up while putting your opponent down is probably the best thing that you can do with this sort of aggressive deck and doing it by turn three you just sometimes automatically win the game depending on the situation. But the reason why Defile is in this deck is because it's very good against Paladin, but its synergy with Sludge on Wheels makes it a little bit of a better card to include than Colt Neophyte. So that's pretty much all there is to this list. It's very, very simple. The only really new card in this deck is the Zilliax with the Haywire module and the Power module in order to give it gigantic stats potentially by turn four. You could also do it by turn three, but you're never going to put Frequency Oscillator into the deck because it just doesn't do anything for this list in particular. Uh, but yeah, Sludge Warlock, very good deck. Coming up on the clips ahead, you'll see the reasons why we run Defile instead of Cult Neophyte because it's either going to be Cult Neophyte being really bad or Defile being very good. I honestly can't remember what clips we used because this happened about a week ago. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out the Patreon if you want extra perks and bonuses for supporting the content. And we might be getting a new sponsor here pretty soon, so I might have some products to sell you that you actually would would enjoy because they're close i'll go ahead and ruin it i might be getting another close sponsorship here pretty soon but thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this deck intro and we'll see you for the next video like you, you can't counter stupid you know <laughs> you can't counter stupid and it's like i like the one situation where burning the brand didn't matter it was burning the reno i i just i know that game came down to we just didn't have tempo we legitimately did not have early game tempo so what are you supposed to do when that happens? Don't neglect Hunter because of how fast it is. Oh, I know. Trust me, this matchup's annoying, but it's definitely doable. So coin wheels or coin trolley? I guess Hunter, I love the idea of coin trolley. But I feel like I'm supposed to keep fracking, but if I keep fracking, I'm, I'm going to discard it. Unless I specifically play it on turn one. So I'm going to try and shoot for minions here. I like Hunter, so I don't uh, complain about it, but oh my god. I mean, dude, the, the, the problem with Hunter is the hunter is the same experience throughout all of hearthstone's history it's play a board stick board win game they played aoe or taunt oh no i have almost immediately lost the game the problem that i have with hunter is that every single hunter archetype feels the exact same to me where i just it's play minion go face do nothing else and that's why i don't like it that's, that's why i specifically don't like hunter it's because of that All right, don't let Raw Mexico hear me. Dude, Raw Mexico already knows my opinion on Hunter. All right, a lot of people already know my opinion on Hunter. I have more Death Knight wins than I do Hunter wins. Does that not tell you exactly my opinion about Hunter? Legitimately, I have more wins. <laughs> I have more wins with DK than Hunter. Like that's crazy, right? That should put me in an, in an insane asylum, in all honesty. I really like Death Rattle Hunter. And you see, there are Hunter decks I've enjoyed. Because Death Rattle, uh, Death Rattle Katharina Cube Hunter was one of my favorite decks of all time. Although it was a Hunter deck. Big Beast Hunters are also pretty cool too. And that's the reason why I have Hunter wins. When Hunter's cool, I play it. But that's the thing. Hunter usually has one or two decks and that's it. That's why I don't like the class. Because if I don't like those one or two decks, then I'm not going to like Hunter for the entire season. And unfortunately, that's just how it goes. The is upon us. Uh, we definitely need to kill this because we don't want him to buff the minions with the, uh, with the four drop. All right, here we go. Remember big death rattle Hunter with the tonk? That was sick. 
I didn't really play the Tonk deck, but I definitely played the Katharina um, Recruit deck. But that was a cool deck. I adore Castle Napthira Beast Hunter. But, but wait, was that Hound Hunter? Wait, no, that wasn't Hound Hunter, was it? What was that? It was that wasn't the introduction of Hound. Hound was was that Festival of Legends mini set, or was that Castle Napthira mini set? My my memory my memory is not so good today. Okay, so we could do this. Tap, kill board. Please kill everything. Okay, good enough. Let's go. Okay, Festival of, of was Hound. Okay, so that wasn't Hound Hunter, but that was Big Beast Hunter. Okay, I, I remember that. I do remember that deck. I was just trying to make sure that I wasn't thinking of Hound Hunter in particular, because I liked Hound Hunter until it became literally every other deck you'd fight. And that's just how I am about, you know, decks that you see 50% of the time. It's like, I don't care what deck is on top as long as it's not 50% of my games. To where it's like, if I'm not playing that deck, then I'm just losing games and I'm donating ranks. That's the worst feeling in Hearthstone, it's feeling like you're donating your ranks. Where it's like, I want to play the game, I don't want to donate my ranks. Okay, he debatably, uh, you know, this is fine. This is actually fine. Absolutely fine. Let's see. Crescendo into this. One sludge goes into here, but it protects the minions, so that's pretty decent. We've got more sludges in hand. Do we ever just say the crescendo for a double sludge turn? That could actually set up Waste Remover into Cult Neophyte instead here. And I can trade here, the sludges go into the minions, and I dominate board. That seems like a game winning play. That seems like a game winning play. Any warriors yet that we can farm? Okay, bro, you won't believe this. I I, I killed Brand last game and we lost. <laughs> we milled Brand but still lost the game somehow, and it's because we didn't draw tempo. We did we didn't draw our early game very well. We had Symphony on five, but that was really the only proactive thing we did in the first six turns. So we'll go up against some warriors and we will farm them. Like my warrior is still my best matchup, but we uh, immediately low roll with a warrior loss. Okay, saddle up. Uh, doable, right? Okay, PSA we can set up a trolley problem. Snake lock. This is from ridiculous hat on Reddit. Playing the game using the cards, how they work, will not get your account action. Do I love it? No. But the fault is on us and not the players. Either way, don't get too attached because it won't be around much longer. Link to the comment will be in chat. Okay. Also, vicious podcast summary is on Reddit. Link so you're telling me that people can chat. get off my ass about the whole cheating thing? Oh my lord, finally. Oh, you're telling me that 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 I finally can stop getting the flack over quote unquote cheating? Like, I'm not gonna say that, like, I was really bothered by, like, the quote-unquote controversy that happened, but I was surprised how many people were actually, like, disappointed or whatever. And I'm not even necessarily talking about creators, I'm more so talking about reactions on YouTube. Like, there, there was one person in particular that made it such a problem that they didn't just take to YouTube, but they took to Twitter as well. And it's just like, my brother in Christ, it's not that big of a deal. And like, some people were like, you're advertising it. It's like, I'm literally not. People already know about it. And the, the deck guide that I posted wasn't even about the deck that was a scam. It's like, of all hills to die on, like, it's, it's not even a hill that I presented. You literally cr climbed Mount Rushmore and then died on the top of Mount Rushmore to prove that you could. What's even the point? Who are you dying for, brother? You're dying for nothing. My voice is like your teacher. Well, my voice is kind of cutting out right now, so I may not actually sound like your teacher. I've had so much Windex that they swapped to Elmer's for a sponsorship, dude. Oh my lord. It's it's just crazy, dude. Like, I I, I, I go out of my way to, to try and be as original as, as possible, and some people will just go out of their way in order to find a reason to be mad. It's like, it's just, it's just crazy. Of all things to do, you are sitting and getting mad about an online card game, about an interaction that will be patched. Uh, an interaction that's not even good, by the way. It would be one thing if, there was, if this was like the Death Knight freezing mechanic. Where it's like, that's actually good on ladder. It makes a good deck even better. But oh my dear lord in Christ in heaven, bro. It's not that big of a deal. It's an interaction that only punishes you if you're playing like warrior or something. People just be mad online, Clark? I mean, it is the way it is, but it's baffling to me. Like, I, I, I know, trust me. These things shouldn't shock me, but the reason that they do 
It's because I'm just sitting here thinking, who has the time to get mad about something like this? Apparently, people got a lot of free time. It's like, exactly, like, why take it life or death, man? It's like, go, exactly, go, literally go touch some grass. Unironically, go touch some grass at this point. Start a family, touch some grass, exactly, dude. Meet a girl, shoot some pool. Fucking play anything but Hearthstone if it's gonna make you this upset. I'd rather tell you, uh, wait. I would rather tell you that you have a, a shit take and have a shit th process than get genuinely angry about something that you didn't cause. Oh man, and, and it's not like I'm bringing more people to it. People already are aware of it. People are already Googling this before I even made a video about it. Mark McKZ, Mark Mix, Mark MKYMCA already made a video about it. Did you also get mad at him on Twitter about it? No, you're just getting mad at me because you're so dumb that you can't think outside of your own fucking circle. Like, you're not thinking about all the other people that have already figured this out. And that, I, and, and the fact that... I, I also justified... Or I don't know I don't know why I'm getting so mad about... Okay, I, this isn't really me getting mad. It's just me being baffled and me being like, Holy crap, how can people be actually this stupid? But it's like, I, I specifically hit up Hat to talk about this before doing anything about it. So it's like, I literally did my due process and this dude wants to still tell me that I'm not doing enough? You're wrong. Like, I, I just don't know. Someone mad at Clark? Well, uh, F, <laughs> F you someone. Exactly, man. There are legitimate reasons to be upset with me or, or, to, or to not like me, but that's not one of them. <laughs> that's probably the stupidest hill to possibly die on, man. And, and, that, and that's really what this is about. Stupidity makes me angry. You wanna know why it makes me angry? Because I know people can do better. But they actively choose to not do better. It's a choice. You can, you can choose to chill. <laughs> I'm mad about my silky hair. See, now that's something to be understandably upset about. Because if you can't have silky hair without like, you know, straightening your hair and going through that entire process, it sucks. I used to hate people like that too. And honestly, the only reason why my hair is like this is because uh, I showered last night. Like this is this is while it's fresh combed, you know, not wet. It's it's not exactly, you know, you know, 100% dry. There's a little bit of oil in there, so I can kind of mess with that. I'm mad you look and smell like salt and vinegar potato chip. Potato chips taste like take a fucking shower. <laughs> Bro, I took a shower last night. Oh my god, these kids. I'm getting bullied. Okay, hold on. Does Trog ever get there by dealing two to this? We could also just take the deal six, but if I miss the deal six, I'm gonna cry. And I could hit plus six, plus six, but it's a 50-50. Is this actually just, just conductor and a trog every single time? We all know that's a wig, bro. Quit capping. You wanna find out it's a wig? How about you, how about you meet up IRL, bro? And then you pull my hair. Wait a minute, this, uh, this, this is sounding like a date now. All right, we got him. We got him. Drog Tem gem tosser just knows, dude. It could have failed, but it didn't. And I will take those. Especially after last game being such a scam. I need I need every song that I'm aware of in this playlist. Okay, I realized I got rid of the sludge on wheels, but I, there we go. That's the card I want. There we go. I want a one and a two. So this is going to find me a, a, a flame imp. Uh, This is honestly not that bad. That's another reason why we play this card is because turn three remover. Sludge still good. Sludge is very good right now. Uh, it is it is how I've repaired my ranks. Uh, I was rank 8k and now I'm rank 3k because I have I, 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 I spent a lot of yesterday playing Sludge Warlock. That was my day yesterday. I, I learned Lorcana very poorly. I'm still very bad at it, but I, I, I at least exposed myself to it and played some games. I, I'm starting to learn Lorcana and there will be a stream about Lorcana here fairly soon. So if you're someone that's into Disney, rejoice. I'm going full tempo. Discard a furnace fuel. Okay, double baritone imp. Eh. I'll probably find a way to clear this, and if he clears this, then he doesn't have a way of hitting this, right? I will miss my 11 stars this month. Why is that, Linux? What have you uh, fallen out with? You can still get it today, man. It's not too late. I mean, that's why I'm climbing right now. I at least need to get top 2k in order to maintain the 11 star. 
Yo, what's going on, Hi Young? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing all right. All right, so no Blade Storm, and this sticks. Feel pretty good about those chances. Clark exposed himself to Lorcana. Did uh, Lorcana consent to that? Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh! Okay. It's because I said exposed. Oh, I see. And it's a chill. It's truly a children's card game because it's made by Disney. Oh God damn it! He has the Blade Storm too. What is it with warriors that having the answers, bro? It's fine. This deck is still Omega favored, and I've actually got the Sludge Wind condition building up. All right, so we just maximum jam minions. We just need to draw, add sludges, set up the, the creation. Always, yep, yeah, always the one in thirty bl Blade Storm, dude. Always the one in thirty Bellowing Flames. Always the one in thirty Bran on turn five. Always the one in thirty whatever. It's not actually one in thirties, but that's how it feels. Okay, that's fine. Yo, what's going on, Brink? Good to see you, dude. Clarkzilla. You know, my favorite Eminem song is Godzilla, and that's immediately where my brain went. So thank you for that for that uh, that hype up. Because we could always use more hype. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go. Deal the damage. Eat it, bro. Literally consume the, the toxic waste. Because that's already what you're doing to your brain in, uh, while playing Brand Warrior. Filezilla? What the hell is Filezilla? I've never heard of that before. I got ledge at the start of the month, uh, and since I didn't play, my ranks are, are not repairable, I think. I mean, if you're five digits, it's still... You could, you could climb from five digits to 3k in one day, and that might get you the um, star bonus. God damn, this guy has all the removal, but he doesn't have the brand, so that's what I'm happy about. Uh, so we could just deal the seven to him. Do we just continue the, to greed the gem tosser? I don't think it's Popgar yet, because we need the fatigue card, so maybe we try to find a fatigue card. Okay, ooh. I feel like it's got to be the gem tosser. But the issue here is that I'm not playing gem tosser this turn, but that may not be a problem. But I am losing sludge on wheels, but I don't have a way of discarding sludges right now. I think I'm going to go with this. Okay, symphony now. All right, this doesn't this doesn't feel good. But if this sticks, I get I can get plus 6 plus 6. One of my favorite recent cards is not broken uh, in, in, in two of my favorite decks. I mean, it's pretty broken, all things considered. It's a pretty busted card. I think that saying that this deck is not busted is kind of lying. Or not, not saying this card is busted. It, it literally is three mana deal eight to the face sometimes. How is that not busted? <laughs> I mean, it's not busted when, like, compared to, like, fucking Reno, obviously. You got the 11 star bonus after three months of not even logging into Hearthstone. What the hell? How high was your MMR, dude? I mean, I got the 11 star bonus while getting um a rank 3k last season. Okay, that's 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 annoying, but fine. Wait a minute. So we have this. Oh my god, this is just lethal, right? Isn't this just lethal? I'm not gonna count it, but I know that it's enough mana to pop off everything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume this is gonna work out, okay? That's the, and that's the great thing about this deck. It's really annoying that, that the fatigue, if, if I had any more fatigue counters, it would have been uh, so much more damage, but it's just enough. You know, can't be upset when it's literally perfect lethal. If he had Reno there, yes, he could have won, but let's not think about that, okay? This is all about the average. Okay, against Warrior, uh, I damn near keep the win. 75% kept win rate? I guess we just keep those then. Just sludge them, man. Just vomit, vomit spaghetti all over the place. Walk it out. Tried queuing some games earlier and was feeling salty. Wait, what did you queue? Honestly, man, I feel like it's never a good idea to queue a game of Hearthstone if you're in a bad mood. Unless you're just playing like a mindless deck and you don't care about the outcome. If you just want to, you know, cl cl play the green cards while like watching a Netflix show or something, I totally get that. But if you're in a bad mood and you're expecting like Hyrule and Hearthstone to suddenly get bad, what the hell? What is this? But yeah, don't don't do that to yourself, man. It's just it's not it's not good for you. It's not good for your opponents because you have a chance of maybe like you know popping off on them. <laughs> I'm not saying that you would be be someone who does that. But when you're when you're when you're mad playing Hearthstone, your chances of adding your opponent after a game after they emote you is a lot more likely, right? <laughs> I have no idea what the, what this is, by the way. This might be Mech Warrior. 
If this is Mech Warrior, then I should just play the Zilliax and just disrespect his minion. Yeah, we'll just do this and, ho and hope it doesn't have an execute. This is the death round? Yeah, it's Mech Warrior. It has to be, right? So I'll just scam him. It's totally okay uh, with something fast like Miracle Rogue Shadow Priest enough time. I don't feel like there's enough time, though, because if you're climbing in wild, people are already aware of those decks, right? Like, playing those decks is not going to get you an advantage. If anything, around this time, people are expecting to counter those kind of archetypes. And that's just climbing in, in, in or just in Hearthstone in general. Alright, okay. Armor is fine. I really don't want this to be explosive runes. Because I want to be able to hit this minion. If it's explosive runes, I'm going to feel kind of bad. But I can also just do this to play around explosive runes. So I think that's what I have to do to make sure this minion dies. Alright, looks like it didn't really matter. It was counterspell. But we still played well. Oh my god. It, okay, he, he could kill the Zilly. Okay, he could kill Zilly. He could kill the Zilly. Fair, fair enough. Not just gonna not just gonna automatically win. Gosh darn it. You mean I actually have to think with my noggin now? Aw, oh, dude, that's cringe. Who wants to think with their brain? I'd rather just automatically win the game and my opponent can see you. <laughs> I got tilted once by someone trying to go face with a rush unit. Okay, that's when you know you need to clo close Hearthstone. <laughs> that that is that is definitely a telling sign. It's like my, my idiot opponent doesn't know how to use a rush minion. I hate this game. Hearthstone toxic. I'm never buying another pre-order ever again. Yeah, I, I, that's when that's when you know, dude. Is this okay? Is this guy legitimately just playing Mech Warrior? Like he's not even playing the Mech. He's just playing Mechs. That has to be the weirdest deck I think I've seen so far. I almost want to take a look at his list. 